process for number 10 is exactly the same as number 9. So if you understood number 9 and you're making a mistake on number 10, it's just a silly error. NaOH dissolving, I can write that reaction. Dissolving means I turn, I end up with ions, which are not pure elements. They have the charges. Since they're not pure elements, their value is on the chart. It's on the back. They do not have a value of zero. Heat of reaction is products. So sodium ion, negative 239.7. And the hydroxide ion, negative 229.9. Minus reactants, value for sodium hydroxide, negative 426.7. Solving my heat of reaction, negative 239.7 plus negative 229.9, negative 469.6 minus negative 426.7. we end up with negative 42.9 kilojoules per mole. Again, because it's negative, because the heat of reaction is negative, we know the heat will be released by this reaction. Um, and I can go into a proportion using my grams of NaOH. So 42.9 kilojoules will be for one mole of NaOH because it has a coefficient of one. I want to find the heat released for a different number of moles. So taking my 10 grams of NaOH and finding my moles, I get 0.25 moles of NaOH, which can go here. Moles of NaOH match moles of NaOH. Cross multiplying, I end up with 10.725 kilojoules. Release. 